Welcome to the Sherrod BC how-to video series. Sherrod BC has been recently enhanced to improve the search experience within the platform. This video will walk you through the previous search capabilities along with the enhanced search. Let's get started. We are going to start with the new enhanced search functionality, so if you are already familiar with the other search options, you can skip the second half of the video. You will now have the magnifying glass icon in the top navigation bar and the Search Sherrod BC section at the top of the homepage. One point of note that is new to the Sherrod BC homepage is the Recommendations section. Sherrod BC uses your profile to recommend resources or connections that match up to your profile information. If you haven't completed your profile, you may wish to do that to improve on the recommendations provided. You can go here to make the changes, or in the top navigation drop-down menu here. If your profile has limited information, you will be presented with the top five current resources or connections. We are going to use the search bar on the home page. I'm going to start by typing in the keyword math. You will see as I start typing the word, you will be presented with options. I'm going to select the word mathematics. The results you are presented with include resources as well as connections and organizations from the Sherrod BC user base. The connections presented will be users that have put the word mathematics in the about me portion of their profile or added it to the curriculum area. By adding information in the optional fields helps users of Sherrod BC be able to connect with users of similar interests and teaching areas. The resources result will be all items that have the word mathematics anywhere throughout the resource, not just the title, but also in any of the attachments or the curriculum data, including big ideas, competencies, or content. As you can see in the left menu, there are ways of filtering the results even further. The numbers in the brackets are the numbers of the results specific to those areas. You can select any one of these items or multiple items to narrow down your search. As you can see, there is a lot of content in Sharon BC for you to use. Let's try one more search. Let's look for a big idea. We're going to search for Newton's three laws of motion. This will present you with quite a few resources in the search results. However, I'm wanting to look for those specific to grade six. That narrows it down a bit more. By clicking on one of the resources and then expanding on the big ideas, you will see the curriculum data that we searched for. You can bookmark or save the resource or resources you want for future use. I have one more search option to show you. If you don't know what school districts or other organizations are part of Sherrod BC, go to the Organizations option in the top navigation bar. This will show you a list of organizations in Sherrod BC. You can use the filter options to narrow down the types of organizations you want to see. You can also type the district number, or you can use the name Comox for Comox Valley, and you can see if they are part of Sherrod BC. By clicking on the name of the organization, this will show you all the resources that they have published. As well, by clicking on Connections, it will also show you the number of users from that district that are on Sherrod BC. If you find someone here you want to connect with, click on the Connect button. This improved search functionality really helps users find the resources they need to teach the BC curriculum and find connections to collaborate with. Now it's your turn to go and search within Sherrod BC to find resources or connections. If you're new to Sherrod BC and want to see other ways of searching within the platform, keep watching and I'll show you how. Let's go back to the home page. Let's start by searching resources. Click on the resources button in the top navigation bar. Here you'll be presented with all resources that have been published in Sherrod BC. The first results are sorted by relevance. Relevance is a scoring calculation used for the sorting of search results. 
This is calculated automatically by the search services for each result item and is based on keyword queries, filters, and how recent the items are. You can click on the Sort By drop-down menu to change the sort order. You can also enter keywords or phrases in the search bar and click on search. We'll use the keyword opportunities for this search. There are additional filtering options specific to resources that were not available within the other search option I first showed you. As well, it does not show you how many resources are in each of the filter areas specific to this search, so you will have to choose your filtering options to see what results you are presented with. Once you have found what you are looking for, click on the bookmark icon to save it for future use. These go into the My Saved Resources tab. Let's search for users within ShareIDBC to make some professional connections. Click on Connections in the top navigation bar. It is great to see that we have over 10,000 users within ShareIDBC. You can connect using the filters for role, teaching environment, organization, such as your own school district or another district within BC, and Yukon, curriculum area, or grade. Keep in mind, using these filters will only find users who have completed this information in their profile. Did you utilize these fields in your profile? You can always click on the arrow beside your name in the top navigation and click on Edit Profile to fill in these fields, or if your teaching assignment changes, you can update it then. With the search bar, you can type in the name of the person if you know it and filter by their school district. Let's use SD71 as an example. Once you have found the person you are looking for, you can click on the Connect button. The connections you have made can be found under the Connections options under My Connections. I hope you are now able to use all these search options to find what and who you are looking for to make sure it be see a valuable tool for you to use. Keep coming back frequently to search for new users that join ShareIDBC and the resources that continue to be published for your use. Check out some of the other ShareIDBC how-to videos to learn more. Thank you for watching and enjoy using ShareIDBC.